Stoga T wants R500000 from Nota Beloyi for defamation. Top hip hop music executive and trends influencer Nota N. Lamulo Beloyi seem unfazed by the defamation lawsuit filed against him by rapper and businessman Boatumalo Molkane, popularly known by his stage name Stoga T after Beloyi allegedly called the veteran lyricist a woman basher on social media. According to court papers filed at the Johannesburg High Court, dated November 25, Molkane is demanding R500000 and proclaims that the comments made by Beloyi on his Twitter page caused irreversible reputational harm to his brand. However, Beloyi said that in his tweets, published on October 3rd, he merely pointed out that Mole Kane tried to punch him but missed, instead of hitting an unsuspecting woman behind him on the jaw at a lavish eatery in Santon. He said, I have not received the summons, but it's strange because he was the one who tried to assault me. I have everything on camera and there are a lot of witnesses and his lawsuit has no legs. I am not even going to instruct my attorney to defend this. I want to do it myself. Beloy I made a name for himself during his tenure as the business manager of rapper Senso Cuesta Vilacazi. He is also married to Afropop sensation Gugula Tukumalo, known by her stage name Birita. According to Molkane's combined summons, the tweets read I confronted at Tumi Molkane weeks after a scuffle with a friend defending my honor two weeks ago. Stoga T struck a black woman's jaw with a clenched fist in the ensuing chaos. I saw him hiding in the corner, walked up, and said I heard you're looking for me he swung and missed. Moral of the story, he missed me and only hits black women. Fortunately, I was able to drag him to the ground by his extended arm and his collar. His fist punched the titled sick floor as he hit the ground face first, where enamel met ceramic. I hope at level 3 Venu has CCTV footage. The papers further alluded that the tweets portrayed Mole Kane as having no regard for gender-based violence. The allegations contained in these social media posts are not only false and hurtful but deliberately intended to humiliate and label the plaintiff unfavorably and to destroy his good name and reputation among his peers in the industry and his fans. The papers said that Beloyi's comments were reckless and could jeopardize Mole Kane's ability to secure gigs and generate an income. The plaintiff was defamed and his reputation in the esteem of the reasonable listener of the general public was gravely lowered, and he suffered damages in the amount of R500000. They also lamented that Beloyi refused to retract the statements upon being served with a letter of demand. Mole Kane did not respond to a written inquiry and his phone rang unanswered.